All right, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a different style. Usually I would do more of like the day in the life vlog style gym montage type video, which you guys will see later on. But I wanna start off by talking about how to get motivated to work out and diet and stay motivated. So first off, a little bit about myself and my journey, if you guys don't know, um, I started to lose weight around 15 years old. Um, I was overweight as a kid and I tried a bunch of different just workout routines, cardio routines, just a bunch of different things. And I had a lot of times where I would do something for a couple weeks and then quit. And yeah, a lot of trial and error. I lost around 40 pounds um, within three months during my eighth grade year, which is a lot of weight to lose. And there's a lot of things I did right, but also a lot of things I did wrong. And then I started focusing more on bodybuilding around 17-ish and I'm 19 now, about to turn 20. Um, so yeah, I want to get more into like my journey, my transformation, all that stuff um, later on, maybe in another video. Um, but the main focus today is how to stay motivated. So I have five main tips that I have compiled throughout my journey that I'm going to tell you guys today. Right, tip number one is to start slow and not try to do too much. When you look at a lot of fitness influencers or actors or whoever you may look up to that is physically maybe appealing, um, you may notice that they train five to six times per week, eat six really clean meals a day, and just overall portray this really healthy, perfect lifestyle that they live. And I can almost guarantee that if you're just getting started in the gym or just creating healthy habits in general, that if you try to do all of that at once, you just won't be able to maintain that. You might be able to for a few weeks um, just because of that initial like extreme motivation, but that will eventually fizzle out and a lot of people just quit and then start to revert it back to how they were before. So the best thing that you can do is to start adding in things slowly. So for example, if you want to get into lifting, you can start off by just lifting three times per week. A program that I recommend and I actually started with myself is the Jason Blaha 5x5 program. Three day split, really good for beginners. And honestly, I've even ran it like last summer for a few months because I also think it's really good to build um, some good muscle mass. If you have some extra weight to lose, then you could also um, add in 10 minutes of cardio every day. Something just light, not too taxing on your body that is pretty sustainable. And then honestly, for the first few weeks, you could just eat how you eat normally, um, but make sure you document it and track it so you can kind of get a baseline for what you maintain with, the calories and macronutrients being your carbs, protein, and fat. And then from there, if you wanna lose weight, you can just cut three to 500 calories. If you wanna gain weight, you can just add in three to 500 calories and then kind of just see how your body reacts to that and monitor your progress and go from there. There's really no need to start off training five to six times per week, have a diet of just chicken and broccoli and go crazy on cardio because you'll really see a lot of changes in your physique and probably your mental health too just by having those minor adjustments. This brings me into tip number two, which is building healthy habits and relationships with food. So if you start off by doing like a starvation diet or just an insane amount of cardio or working out, you really are not going to be able to maintain that and find that motivation within to keep doing that. And if you do, you're probably just gonna feel overall unhappy or just unwell. If you see people doing that year round, I mean, some people can maintain it, but I mean, you really have to like love doing what you're doing because a lot of people just kill themselves in the gym for a few months and then see really good results and then kind of lose their motivation and then fall back into how they were before whenever they do these really intense things. So if you're starting to work out, clean up your diet is important to establish or reestablish if you've already been working out um, some of these healthy habits and not doing too much. Again, like I said earlier, because that's a good way to get demotivated really fast. Unless it's like a special circumstance, like you have a contest prep for a show or something like that. Um, unless it's something like that, you really shouldn't ever be like really starving or overeating to a point where you're feeling sick, like binge eating. I mean, something that I used to do myself was I would eat really clean, really low calorie all week. And then on the weekend, like Saturday, I would do an eight to 10,000 calorie day. Um, with like just a whole bunch of unhealthy foods that I just had been looking forward to all week. And honestly, I could not maintain that. I did it for about three months and did see good results, but I became really demotivated because it felt like during the week, all I was living for was that cheat day um, because I just 
felt unwell because I was on such low calories. So now for me, unless I have like a set goal, like right now I'm cutting, I'm pretty strict and I have a set goal that I'm going for, um, I'm still not being crazy. Like I am not really hungry at all or anything. I'm not super, super low calories, um, but typically I'll follow just an if it fits your macros diet, which basically means I have a calorie goal and I try to be within range of certain macronutrients. Usually I just try to hit my calories and protein. Um, and then a couple times a month, I will go over that calorie goal by about 600 calories uh, just to have a little bit of diversity in what I'm able to eat. It's honestly just what works for you, um, which leads me into tip number four, which is to actually do things that you enjoy. Find a workout, find a diet that is sustainable and that you enjoy doing. Um, because that's the best way to find motivation within yourself to do it. It's just so much easier to be motivated about something if you're actually looking forward to it. If it's something that you're dreading every day, like maybe you love lifting weights, but you are forced to do like swimming or boxing or running every single day, like you're gonna be dreading it, you're gonna be demotivated, you're not gonna give it your all. But if it's something that you really enjoy, then you will be motivated and you will give it your all and 100%. Personally, I love lifting weights. I love the whole bodybuilding lifestyle. I love eating five to six small meals a day, chicken and rice, you know, whatever it may be, making healthy recipes, cooking myself. I love doing all that stuff. Um, so it's enjoyable for me and it's really motivating because I also like the bodybuilding physiques and kind of that whole scene. But maybe you wanna have more of that like lean boxer physique or whatever, and that's the type of workouts you like to do. Like that's what you should be doing. You should really do what you enjoy to stay motivated because a lot of people think that they have to do something a certain way and they don't enjoy it and then they lose motivation and they end up just quitting altogether. It's honestly just important to try different things. Like I've tried a bunch of different diets. I've done boxing workouts, I've done running workouts, different sports, and I really found my niche and what I enjoy and I built healthy habits around that and a lifestyle around that. But that doesn't mean that it should be easy and it doesn't mean that you'll always succeed, which brings me into tip number five. Basically, you just gotta remember that it's okay if you slip up. Every single person in this world has slip ups, whether they are amateur bodybuilders or the Mr. Olympia. I mean, everyone has slip ups, professional athletes do doctors do like anyone does it's just unrealistic to assume that you'll be a hundred percent all the time physically or mentally which is why it's so important to actually establish a healthy fitness lifestyle because whenever you do have slip-ups maybe you go over your calories maybe you miss a workout whatever it may be you're just not feeling well um, you're when you revert back to how you are it's that healthy fitness lifestyle you kind of just have to establish it for yourself Anytime you start anything that you're passionate about or excited for, you're gonna have a lot of motivation right off the bat. And like that motivation might slowly start fading. And whenever it gets down to here, you might be like, oh, I wanna quit. But you have to keep going. You have to just find it within yourself to be motivated. If it's something that you really enjoy, then you will find that motivation. And if you really don't enjoy it, then try something else just as long as it's healthy and it fits and it's sustainable for your life. Because there's been plenty of times that I've cheated on my diet or haven't been able to work out certain days whenever I wanted to. And it doesn't mean that all my progress was gone. Um, you might be disappointed, but you shouldn't beat yourself up over it because uh, that's just overall not really healthy. It's not a good way to look at it unless you are, again, have a special circumstance, like it's a contest prep or you're, I don't know if you're a MMA fighter and you need to cut weight. Like that's different, but just for like your average living life day to day, you shouldn't be too stressed out um, if you have a day where you slip up. It honestly just does more harm than good. And whenever you have failures and become demotivated because of it, it just makes it a lot harder to get back on track rather than just having the approach of like, okay, I slipped up, time to get back, get back on my lifestyle that I've established for myself and created. Let's get motivated and let's get to work. All right, so that was my little segment on how to get motivated and stay motivated in the gym and with your diet. Hopefully this helps you guys. This is just five tips that have helped me personally and that I practice myself every single day. Um, yeah, so this is different, like I said, because it is Thursday and I'm actually about to go to the gym. But you guys are gonna see me again on Sunday because I was planning on recording arms this week. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Quick little life update. I've been getting these gallon jugs, so I know I'm drinking a gallon of water. I don't know why I just thought I'd show you guys that. That's an easy way to get in water. 
whenever I try to drink like water bottles or whatever, I just can never really track it the right way. Um, so now I know I'm getting in at least a gallon. And honestly, it's eight o'clock and I'm already almost done with this. So I feel like I probably drink at least a gallon and a half just naturally a day, which is good. It's a lot of water. Um, I'll see you guys on Sunday for some arms and yeah, peace out boys. All right, so it's a few days later since I last recorded. We are on the way to the gym to hit some arms and I'm about to try a few drinks. Lemon Lime Prime. So I've tried every flavor except for this one um, and I've heard this one's the best. And then pre-workout, we got this Ghost Sour Patch Red Berry if it'll focus. So yeah, we're gonna try both of these and then this will be my pre-workout. The lemon lime drink, wherever it went, will be my intro workout. This is gonna be an interesting little way to do this, but. All right, here we got the red berry ghost sour patch drink. The blue one is really good. It's pretty good. Have you you've had the blue one? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the blue one? It's really good. The red one's good. I feel like, I don't think I like it as much as the 3Ds. But honestly, I'd give that like a seven, probably a seven, 6.5. All right, Lemon Lime Prime. I definitely wouldn't say it's the best, but I'll give it like a six. Honestly, after trying them all, I think the best one is probably, in my opinion, the blue. This might be the second best. I don't know, it's a little, a little sour, but yeah. A couple of beverage taste tests today. Now we're gonna go train some arms. Are you excited for some arms? Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna do this workout. Recording a little bit earlier today, so it'll be a little bit more light. And then finals are here, so gotta study the rest of the day. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Peace out. a little bit of a warm up so we did curls we did 20 15 12 10 and then we did three or four sets of 12 of the inclines for pressures then four sets of 10 for the next two things and four sets of eight for the last two arm things so that's gonna wrap it up i'm about to do some abs and then we are going to do 25 minutes of cardio uh the cut's going well down to around 183 and yeah pretty solid workout hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe i will see you guys 
you next week for some more. I'm changing my rating. I already threw it away, but without other Prime, I'm going to give it like a 5.5 because it was honestly it was a little gross. But yeah, see you guys next week. This may or may not be the last video where I'm living in my dorm. Um, hopefully I can get Josh to say goodbye. So that might be next week. So yeah, see you guys next week. Tell them to use code Jacob for 15% off on Jack Factory. <laughs> yes. And follow me at Aubriana.fit. No free promos out here, boys. <laughs>